Hi, everyone. My name is Ignacio Sanchez, and I am here to present the topic High Density Emulation Platform for Wi Fi Testing. First of all, let me introduce myself. I came from Uruguay. I am 26 years old, and I have a degree in telecommunication engineering. I work for Plan Seibal since 2012. I would like to begin with a short introduction about what Plan Seibal is and why we need to test Wi-Fi performance on high-density environments. Plan Seibal is the one laptop per child program nationwide deployed in the country. It focuses in social inclusion as a way of changing learning, education, and the technology infrastructure of the country. Nowadays, we have more than 3,000 educational centers with WLAN deployed, and more than 700 network users. Well, now we are ready to move on to the problem description. Plus, Eval has deployed WLAN infrastructure in each Uruguayan public school, and we need to optimize and make new deployments every day. So the question that we asked ourselves was, how to perform inside high-density Wi-Fi testing with accurate results? We already know that testing high-density Wi-Fi networks is a challenging task because the conventional way to do this takes a lot of time, a lot of human resources. So we needed a low-cost solution and a portable solution in order to move it to each educational center, yes? So we needed a different solution, a different option to carry with a lot of laptops to each school. In the market, there are some available solutions, but they don't quite satisfy our needs. Why? Expensive lab solutions don't reflect the, the real performance of our devices, yeah? Because antennas and radios are different as the one in our devices. And cheaper solutions share the same problem with the expensive ones, and they also um, re represent a problem when, when testing high density because they don't recreate the, exactly the same environment, yeah? So we decided to come up with a solution to measure the performance of our devices in our network. Yeah, that's what's our main goal. So after a long time of hard work and trial and error, we got here, the emulator. This is the device that enables us to solve our problems, yeah? Let me break it down for you. When we designed the emulator, we used the following component, yeah? Standard PC case, motherboard, with a lot of PCI slots in order to connect splitters and the radios, microprocessor, RAM memory, power supply, QMA connectors, antennas, radios, those radios are the main component of the emulator because are the, uh, these are the, the same radios as the one in our devices. So when we take measure, we need to reach similar results, similar results as the one we will get by using all the devices but without using a lot of human resources and a lot of laptops in, in the schools, yes? Yeah? This slide shows some uh, particular features about the, the emulator. We use plastic pipes in order to protect the cables. We use um, adjustable elbows, 3G printed, to, to allow bands and to make it portable. We also use two antennas per client to support MIMO 2x2. Two two. And another important thing is the the, the price, the total price. 
the bill of material reached around $2,500, yes? But why did we decide to do it like this? Because we wanted to recreate the same situation in which we could have one computer next to another, yeah? That is the, that is the, the reason uh, why we respected the space between the antennas, yes? Yeah? We also used um, easy to plug and unplug QMA connectors uh, to avoid the need uh, to use any other tools that will slow the process down, yes? We use uh, adjustable elbows because we need to be able to move this tool to, to each educational center. Well, validation test. Yes. The cable. Sorry. We believe that the, the core part of all of this is the, the validation test. Why? Because if it doesn't work, it doesn't make sense, yeah? So let's jump into the, into the validation test. This diagram shows the architecture of the network when we did the, the validation test, yeah? In this test, we compare the results of the measure uh, of the performance of the real situation in the upside and the emulator. We use iperf to generate downlink traffic between the server and the client for five minutes. And in the first part of the test, clients were the real devices, the real laptops. And in the second part of the, of the test, we used the emulator. Here is a, a picture of the validation test that took place in the plant Seval premises in Uruguay. As you can see, there are no flexible armor, uh, flexible elbows, adjustable elbows, sorry, and plastic pipes because the, it was done in a previous stage, yeah? But if you look closely, you could see one antenna, two antenna next to each computer, yeah? Here is the, the emulator, the traffic monitor, the access point there, and the test management. We also took some measure of the traffic, of traffic captures and RF monitor. Well, in both of, of these graphs, we compare the, the results of the laptop and the emulator. The red line represent the results of the emulator and the blue line represents the laptop results. This graph um, shows the first one, the throughput per client, and the second one, the airtime usage. What I want you to see there is the, that the results are similar, so we conclude that the emulator does its job. Let's see some real cases. The first time that we took the emulator to the field was to the public school number 39. And uh, we wanted to compare the capacity of the WLAN in both bands. The results were, pre were predictable using uh, dual, band, dual band devices we reach almost um, 200 megabits per second, and using only 2.4 gigahertz, we only reach almost 50. The second time that we took to the field the, the emulator was in the conference room in Plan Seibal in Uruguay. The, the goal of the test was the, the, the same and, and well, the results uh, are there. We reach more than 700 megabits per second, 
and an average of six, uh, six megabits per second. We use, um, in this room, there are four or five access points, yes? Well, that is all. Thank you.